Do you guys want to know how we do so many giveaways and top-ups in Genshin without burning through our wallets? Well, here's the secret. There's this website called Lootbar GG, where you can save up to 20% compared to in-game purchases. Since Lootbar uses the official partnership route, you can enjoy all the official Hoyaverse recharge events, meaning you can get twice the amount of Genesis crystals if you have the bonus. This is how I purchased 6,560 Genesis crystals for only $47. All I did was provide my UAD and make the payment, and one to two minutes later, I received the crystals on my account. No hassle. It's completely safe and secure. If you don't believe me, Lootbar has thousands of good reviews on their website. Take a look. Even big shots like Dukaja, Tevat Times, and Jello Impact approve of Lootbar, so head over to the link in the description and start saving money. New users get 5% off their first purchase. We are giving away five Welkins when we reach 3,000 subscribers, so make sure to sub. Hey, everyone! Many anticipated the return of the Chronicled Wish banner in version 4.7, but it wasn't mentioned in the 4.7 banner announcement. In this video, we'll explore when the next Chronicled Wish banner might appear and which characters could be featured. The main reason for expecting Chronicled banners in 4.7 was that it was seen as a filler update. However, since they aren't appearing in 4.7, it's clear that filler updates aren't a determining factor. Essentially, the timing is entirely at the developer's discretion. So, when might we see the next Chronicled banner? The most likely answer is version 4.8. This is a summer event, and the final one before the new Pyro region launches. Hoyoverse will probably want to rerun as many characters as possible before new ones take the spotlight. Therefore, it's very likely that Chronicled Banners will return in patch 4.8. Who will be featured in the next Chronicled Wish Banner? The most logical choice is characters from Liyue. Liyue has many characters that fit the Chronicled Banner criteria. Archons are probably excluded, so we can rule out Zhongli. Likely candidates include Yalan, Hu Tao, and Ganyu from the Limited Pool, with Keqing and Chi-Chi from the Standard Pool also being strong possibilities. For the regular two-phase banners, we might see Emily, Ryothsli, Navia, and Nalu. We've detailed the reasoning behind this lineup prediction in our previous video, which you can check out for more information. Lastly, this is a new redemption code which gives 60 primos that you may or may not have used, but here it is anyway. Before we continue, make sure to check out our Discord server to take part in giveaways, participate in challenge events like this one, get instant leaks and updates, and hang out with other Genshin players, including me. Link is in the description. That's all. Thanks for watching and subscribe, or you'll lose your 50-50 to Chi-Chi.